Professional golf is a game of discipline and etiquette on the golf course. But throughout the PGA circuit, only some have displayed the behavior in the best possible way. Did you know there are many incidents of tantrums on the golf course? Were you aware that some were primarily men? Here, we look back at some of the most memorable famous golfers that threw big tantrums. First up, we have Woody Austin. What was his big tantrum? Well, in 1997 at the Hilton Head is where it all unfolded. I'm sure Woody would prefer this clip to be never seen again. Again, he had a birdie that seemed all too easy, but he was short on the putt. What he did next left everyone shocked. He took his frustration out on himself and hit his head with his golf club so many times that he bent it. Clearly, he has a hard head. We will never forget this, and those who watched it feel the same way. Next up, we have Henny Otto. This is a tantrum on a quiet level. Henny won the European Tour three times from 2008 to 2014, but his strangest and most interesting moment happened during the 2005 Nashua Masters, where things went from bad to worse at a birdie. First, he missed what would have been a gettable birdie, then in frustration swung his golf club in the air. Then it took him about six shots before he got the birdie in. He thought the second one would go in, but it did not. His frustration got the better of him, and he just kept missing all these gettable shots until the sixth attempt. Clearly, you could see the disappointment on his face after that hole. And now we have Sergio Garcia. Sergio Garcia is known as a great ball striker. However, sometimes his frustration would get the better of him and would overshadow his talent. He has thrown his club and has sworn, and at one tournament in the Dubai Desert Classic, he took it out on the bunker. But that was not all. It was his anger that was displayed on the Greenside Beach in Saudi Arabia in 2019 that outshined them all. He was not impressed with a shot he he made from the bunker, so Sergio took it out on the sand dunes, aimlessly hitting the sand with his club and speaking his frustrations out loud, to the point where other competitors complained about his behavior. The European Tour's CEO issued misconduct against Sergio. He apologized for his behavior and wavered his fee for the following year, which was said to be about $640,000. At another event, Sergio would lose it again. Earlier in his career, he was not happy with the tee shot, so in pure anger, at himself, he lost his cool and his golf shoe. He threw his golf shoe at the crowd. Luckily, no one was hurt. And he also got his shoe back from the crowd. Very nice of them. In another event during the 2007 championship, he missed what some would say was an easy birdie. However, after he tapped in his ball, he decided he wanted to leave his mark, so he spat in the hole. How nice. He is also not a fan of the bush, especially at the Royal Birkdale in the 2017 Open. However, he was unhappy with the shot at the par 3 on the fourth hole, so he took it out on the bushes. Moving on to Charlie Hoffman. During the Players' Championship at the stadium course at TPC Sawgrass, Charlie Hoffman had a moment he would like to forget. The course is not easy, so certain holes can be a nightmare for many players in the tournament. The 13th hole is one of them. It is a par 3 with a large pool of water on the side of the hole with plenty of fish and golf balls. The year was 2008. It took a few shots to get the golf ball in the hole, and Hoffman was not happy, so he decided he had enough of that golf club and threw it into the water, never to be seen again. Because we know it is always the golf club's fault. Next, we have Keegan Bradley. This one was funny. Keegan is known to let his emotions get the better of him, which happened during the WGC Cadillac match play at TPC Harding Park in 2015. This was a scratch match. The two were eliminated from the group and only played their final game for the sake of it. Keegan hit a shot on the 13th hole and went for the fence, but within the rules, he was allowed to take a shot. However, Miguel, his opponent, wanted to listen in on the conversation, and neither Keegan nor his caddy appreciated that. Miguel told the caddy to shut up, and so an argument followed. Steve Hale had to step in as it looked like Miguel and Keegan were about to fight. This was such an unusual scene, as you often would not see that at a golf tournament per the etiquette and all. Did you think it was necessary? And now we have Bubba Watson. Bubba Watson had the reputation of being a guy that people did not like on the tours. Steve Elkington and Bubba Watson were paired during the 2008 season at the Zurich Classic in New Orleans. Steve is known for being cheeky. No one would assume that things would get out of hand sooner rather than later. Bubba could see Steve walking full steam ahead when he was about to take a shot. Supposedly, Steve was supposed to be still, so a few words were exchanged. You gonna stop walking, man? You did it all day yesterday. 
I tell you what, man, veterans can kiss my p The commentators were uncomfortable and tried to change the topic. In the end, Bubba was able to make the shot. Moving on to Phil Mickelson. Shinecock Hill's 13th hole is a tough one. On a Saturday afternoon during the U.S. Open, it was a hot one. Phil missed his bogey, and while the ball was still in motion on the other side of the hole, he hit it and then missed it again. So he picked up the ball and walked off without trying to make the putt. He later said he realized he would get a penalty, which is why he stormed off before coming back to finish the hole. Next up, we have Henrik Stenson. Henrik lost it all at the 2011 U.S. Open. He had a shot that he missed and was not happy with that, so he thought the best way to handle that situation was to snap his golf club in half. Unfortunately, he also cut his hand during that outburst, which impacted the rest of his game. I'm sure he will not be doing that again anytime soon. And now we have Rory McIlroy. It would be reminiscent of us not noticing that Rory has had a frustrating few years. First, he had a terrible rib injury that meant he could not play in 2017, and then he had issues with his swing. Then at the WGC Cadillac Championship in 2015, his behavior got the better of him during the second round. It just wasn't his day, and his temper bubbled over, and he took it out on his golf club and threw it into the water. Moving on to John Daly. John was not having a good day at the 2015 PGA Championship. He unfortunately lost a few golf balls into the depths of Lake Michigan. He was having a lot of difficulty with his par 3 during the tournament. Not only did he lose golf balls, but he also took his frustration out on his golf club and sent it into the lake with the other. Next up, we have Thomas Peters. Thomas is a colorful character and is known to have taken his frustrations out on his golf clubs over recent years. During the BMW PGA Championship, he struggled at the fourth hole and struggled with his par five. He let his frustrations get the better of him and somehow was able to snap his golf club around his neck. That is a quite impressive feat. Luckily, these golfers earn a lot of money to replace all the clubs they break or throw in the water. And now we have Sven Str Rubber. He clearly was not happy with his shot at par 3, so he decided to take it out on his golf club, but unfortunately he managed to break it by snapping it over his leg. Finally, we have Ian Woosnam. Apparently, Ian had one too many golf clubs in his bag. During the 2011 British Open, Ian was about to win his first Open. On the final day, he had birdies with an opening par 3. That is when things went terribly bad. His caddy, Miles Burns, said to him, you're going to go ballistic. We've got two drivers in the bag. At that point, the caddy pointed to the driver, resulting in a two-stroke penalty Ian took at the club, snapped in half, and threw it away. He was a lucky caddy not to be fired on the spot. Well, we hope you enjoyed watching this video about famous golfers throwing big tantrums. Do you agree with this list? Please leave a comment below. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.